We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So I'm here with Matt from Simulation Curriculum, the makers of Sky Safari. Matt, there's a product that many people are using, but I'd like to learn a little bit more about it. It's called Live Sky. Can you just give us an understanding of what is Live Sky and what's its use case? So Dave, if you're familiar with our other solutions, Sky Safari for mobile that runs on iOS and Android, and Starry Night, which runs on Mac OS and Windows, LiveSky.com is the perfect option for you. That's because you have lots of observing data that you do out in the field right. on this device here. You take that maybe back home to the larger screen and you set up on your Mac uh, computer or your Windows computer and you would like to see the data that you had from the- Observing lists and yeah, everything your equipment that, lists and all of those Everything things. that you enjoyed to put into the system that you made an observation on, your equipment that you're using, you can enter all of that into either device. But wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to enter it into each device individually, right? Yes, please. It's much better that we have this LiveSky.com web service that's running right back here to show you uh, that you can actually sync all of your data seamlessly from Sky Safari or Starry Night through our cloud-based LiveSky.com server to give you a complete view of everything that you have in your observing So what uh, I'm seeing repertoire. here, this is a fully interactive web version of Sky Safari? Yep, absolutely. So now you have Sky Safari on the web, you have Starry Night on your Windows and Mac OS, and you have uh, Sky Safari also on your mobile device. So you are able to have complete coverage at any time. And uh, as you see here on the left-hand side, this is showing the different pieces of data that Sky Safari and Starry Night uh, sync into the Live Sky system to keep your uh, observing data all in accessible order. So we've got uh, observation sessions, observing lists, equipment, sites, your field of view indicators, all the things that are one of the amazing parts about both Sky Safari and Starry Night. You've got the web uh, version of Sky Safari, what's in the sky this month, light pollution maps. This seems like a pretty complete package. Um, so who would be the audience here? Like why get Live Sky? Uh, other, there you go, syncing properties and... Anybody who's serious about their astronomy would want to have this, because you're going to take the time to put in this data. You want to make sure that it's always backed up, it's always accessible. Backed up, exactly. And it can't be something that's just lost uh, because your app crashes. Doesn't live just on your phone or, or and now you... You lose your phone, lose your phone or all something. your observing data's gone. How terrible would that be? That, that right? would be exactly. unfortunate, exactly. Nobody years wants of, that. Years of, of experience down the tubes. Correct. So this saves you that potential. It keeps your data backed up. Correct, and all of the improvements that you're seeing in Sky Safari for our premium package, some of the content that we're delivering, that's all available at LiveSky.com with the uh, premium subscription. So if you are a premium user of Sky Safari, you're going to see uh, articles, you're going to see new tools, you're going to see new integrations. Like so you're, what you're saying is it's getting better. It's, it's going to continue to get better, more will, functions absolutely, coming. Absolutely, absolutely. I can't wait to see what's going to change with LiveSky by next year when we see you at Neath. Um, Matt, thank you so much, man. Yeah. Uh, this sounds like a great opportunity to get you know, yourself started if you're not already started with doing some observations that you're keeping record of, right? Why learn the hobby and not keep track of it? Take some notes, uh, find out if yeah. you, know, you can start to get a system in place. Instead of trying to come up with a system on your own, the system is already made for you. It's a, pr a tried and true way to do astronomy in a way that gives you everything in one place across multiple platforms and once again keeps your data backed up for years to come. The great thing is, is that it's free to try. You can get in there and uh, use all of the syncing services for free. And if you want to take it further and get the premium subscription, there's a free trial as well. So right. you, can, you can really get uh, acclimated to the system. Thank you so much, Matt. Absolutely.